Sometimes people don't understand the role that insurance plays in society as a risk bearer. A lot of the economic development relies upon insurance, plays a key role to provide the last source of capital, contingent capital, in difficult times. We sometimes look at people who are running big farms with herds of cattle, but think about the farmer in some undeveloped country that has one cow. When that cow goes, his whole business is gone. And so we got to focus on developing products to help protect those people and those businesses. Microinsurance is essentially reaching out to disadvantaged populations and, and providing these people, low-income people, with insurance products. There are two benefits that uh, we're beginning to see that really are needed, especially in low-income populations. First is an anticipatory benefit, the idea that um, a person knows that there's a risk out there that could happen to them. The breadwinner could die, the house could catch fire, and so they save, but they save ineffectively. As a result, they're missing out on opportunities in order to save for events that perhaps they won't be able to pay for should it even happen. Insurance is built in order to deal with those events, and so microinsurance is one way of unlocking that capital that is being inefficiently used. The other one is low-income people live in, in neighborhoods and areas that don't have particularly good services. Insurance can aggregate the total value of all of these people that live in the neighborhoods and then bring that to produce better services for the populations there. So I'll sometimes say that a fire extinguisher is a great example of an insurance policy because if a fire happens, it's exactly what you want to have and you know exactly how to use it. Our insurance policies, our micro-insurance policies, have to be that simple and that obvious. People have a misconception about this not being a money-making opportunity, that it's just some kind of giveaway program. If it's just a giveaway program, it's not going to succeed over the long term. So we've designed it as a business. And what we have to be is creative in looking at low-cost distribution channels. Every one of these initiatives in Zurich have a business plan, a profit-making business plan. Zurich is operating in a number of different countries. We're in Latin America, we're in Asia, we're in Africa with microinsurance products and services. Uh, we've got about a million people that we'd, we'd say are microinsurance customers, um, and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's only a small percentage of what our ambition is. We've been fortunate early on in our global initiative to uh, start a public-private partnership with the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation. That brings us also with the International Labor Organization, which is part of the UN and has a lot of experience with the communities that we're talking about in bringing microinsurance to the fore. Our partnerships, of course, go far beyond that also. We have a number of different uh, academic institutions, like in China with Nankai University. We need to work with these organizations that are used to going into the unknown, going and looking in places where others haven't looked, because that's really what we're trying to do. We're trying to reach underserved or unserved people that haven't had insurance before. Distribution and linking with distribution, linking with cell phone carriers and utilities and retailers is another set of skills that are in our future and partially in our present. Delivering when it matters is what it's all about. We need to get money into the hands of somebody who has had a tragedy befall them. Uh, while that tragedy is more or less still ongoing. I was surprised when I first joined Zurich by the way that the Zurich employees, by my, my, my colleagues, the way they approach microinsurance. There's a real sincere uh, care for the customer and especially for the customers that I'm talking about. And People really see this and want to contribute to microinsurance because they see this as bringing a lot of meaning to the core of what we do. Microinsurance is insurance. It's insurance for low-income people and it's something that can really improve people's lives. We've got to help these people, particularly people in economies that are emerging today, where people for the first time are having assets uh, of their own, having income streams of their own. How do we get those people the kinds of protection that they need to balance the risks that they take every day.